Welcome to Tithes TV. Good day brothers and sisters. Tithing is the one of the most controversial topic among Christian. Christians divides into two group in this matter. The first half favor of tithes, and the other half not. Which of the two tells the truth? You. Are you in favor about tithing? But, did you know that there are people who really give tithes? Let's check it out who they are, and what they say about tithing. But before we go on, don't forget to subscribe, share and hit the notification button for more videos. The richest man on earth. Give tithe? Yes. The richest man on earth. Give tithe. His name is. John Davison. Rockefeller. John Davison Rockefeller is the owner of Standard Oil Company. If Bill Gates, the richest man of this time has a net worth of $91 billion, then Rockefeller has $392 billion. Someone asked him said, did you give tithe? He answer. Yes, I tithe. This is a story of a man who was faithful in little things and great things. A story of a man who demonstrated the Luke 16:10. He that is faithful in that which is least is faithful also in much, and he that is unjust in the least is unjust also in much. Luke 16:10. According to him, his first wages amounted to $1.50 per week, and from that week until he died he always give tithe every dollar God has entrusted him. He said, if I had not tithed the first dollar I made, I would not have tithed the first million dollars I made. Personal Life He was born on July 8, 1839 at Richford, New York. Died on May 23, 1937 at age 97, two months before his 98th birthday. Married to Laura Celestia Spellman. And blessed with five children, Elizabeth, Alice, Alta, Edith and John J.R. His father, William A. Rockefeller was first a lumberman and then a traveling salesman. His mother, Eliza Davison, a homemaker and a devout Baptist. John did his share of the regular household chores and earn extra money raising turkey, selling potatoes and candy, and eventually lending small sums of money to neighbors. A faithful congregant of the Erie Street Baptist Mission Church, he taught Sunday school, and served as a trustee, clerk, and occasional janitor. He adhered to total abstinence from alcohol and tobacco, throughout his life. For advice, he relied closely on his wife. He took a business course and studied bookkeeping. Despite his father's absences and frequent family moves, Young John was well-behaved, serious, and studious boy. His two great ambitions were 1. To make $100,000, 2.63 million in 2017. 2. And to live 100 years. Occupations Oil industry business magnate and philanthropist. Founding and leading the Standard Oil Company. Peak net worth Mr. Rockefeller retired from business that he had accumulated close to 392 billion US dollars, in 2016 inflation rate, out of the earnings of the Standard Oil Trust and out of his other investments. What? Close to 392 billion US dollars. Equal to 1.5 to 2% of US GDP. In short he was the first US billionaire and the wealthiest man in modern history. How did all began? From the beginning, I was trained to work, to save, and to give. Following the John Wesley's dictum, gain all you can, save all you can, and give all you can. It was at this moment, that the financial plan of my life was formed. Job and Investment in September 1855, he was then 16YRS old, he got his first job as an assistant bookkeeper. Rockefeller At age 18 In 
the year 1859, he went into the produce commission business with a partner, Maurice B. Clark, and they raised $4,000 in capital. He went steadily ahead in business from there, making money each year of his career. One occasion he said, God gave me money. And money making considered by him a God-giving gift. Oil Industry In February 1865, in what was later described by oil industry historian Daniel Jurgen as a critical action, Rockefeller bought out the Clark Brothers and oil refinery industry for $75,000. While other refineries would keep the 60% of oil and dump the other 40% in the rivers, Rockefeller remained thrifty and efficient as ever. Using gasoline to fuel the refinery, selling lubricating oil, petroleum jelly, paraffin wax, and other by-products. On January 10, 1870, Rockefeller abolished partnership and formed the Standard Oil of Ohio. He quickly expanded the company to be the most profitable refiner in Ohio and became the largest shippers of oil and kerosene in the country. Although it always had hundreds of competitors, Standard Oil gained dominance of oil and sales, ended up with about 90% of the US and the world market. The company's vast American empire included 20,000 domestic wells, 4,000 miles of pipeline, 5,000 tank cars, and over 100,000 employees. Giving Ability His philosophy of giving was founded upon biblical principles. He truly believed in the principle of Luke 6:38. Give, and it will be given to you. A good measure, pressed down, shaken together and running over, will be poured into your lap. For with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. Luke 6:38. Rockefeller's charitable giving began with his first job as a clerk at the age 16, when he gave 6% of his earnings to charity, as recorded in his personal ledger. By the time he was 20, his charity exceeded 10% of his income. Much of his giving was church-related. Rockefeller attended Baptist churches every Sunday, when traveling he would often attend services at African-American Baptist congregations, leaving a substantial donation. Burton Folsom Jr. has noted, he sometimes gave tens of thousands of dollars to Christian groups, while, at the same time, he was trying to borrow over a million dollars to expand his business. As Rockefeller's wealth grew, so did his giving, proportional. In total Rockefeller donated about $550 million, that is more 25% of his income. Rockefeller fund colleges and universities, including Spelman College, Rockefeller University, University of Chicago, Central Philippine University, Iliilo City, Philippines. Rockefeller in 1911. At age 86, penned the following words to sum up his life. I was early taught to work as well as play. My life has been one long, happy holiday. Full of work and full of play. I dropped the worry on the way. And God was good to me every day. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and click the notification button for the next video. Tithes TV says. The true rich man are those who can give tithe. God bless you.